we have our three minute marvel on Leicester. Don't forget, in most of your case studies, you need to have an MEDC example and an LEDC example. This obviously is our MEDC example. Like a classic modelled model city, you have four different areas in a typical MEDC urban area. Old inner city, inner city redevelopment areas, suburbs and an outer city council estate. Sorry. Old inner city, not yet, <laughs> no, he's, he's skipping now you see, old inner city, the old factory is terraced housing, very often high density and it, in nowadays we tend to improve them, gentrification improvement. Inner city redevelopment, the old terraced houses, the old factories removed high density blocks of flats, suburbs, semi-detached, detached houses, more space on the outside of an urban area. And of course we have the provision for an outer city council estate, again where the land is available. Let's have a look at each one of these areas of Leicester in turn then. Oh, We're getting there, honest. One of the areas that you're going to be looking at then is going to be West Coats. We'll get there, there yeah, you go, Sorry. West Coats. Sorry. An old urban air in the city area it's an area of urban renewal or gentrification. In other words, the terraced houses have been improved. Not, per perhaps some of them ch um, are demolished for parks, garage blocks and so on, but generally using what's there and making improvements so that you can still hold on to that community spirit. Another area in Leicester would have been the area of comprehensive redevelopment. Everything is bulldozed, they started from scratch. This hasn't actually worked in most MEDC urban areas, but it was worth a try. We also have outer city council estates, North Bronston. A few years ago, a really bad area, high crime rate, high teenage pregnancies, lots of alcohol and other types of substance abuse and so on. They got to the stage where they were trying to sell their houses for a pound each. That was trying to improve the standard, making people feel proud of their environment. It has improved radically since then. New Deal, trying to regenerate some of these areas. And of course we have a typical example of a suburban area, Evington. Again on the outskirts, room to expand, semi-detached, detached housing on the urban rural fringe, improved quality of life, possibly professional people living there. My sketch map, if you can remember, if you have to do a sketch map of a case study area, try and keep it simple. As far as I'm concerned, this looks like a fried egg and a rasher of bacon. The yolk is the CBD, the white is the remaining residential part of Leicester and we've got the M1 on the side of the rasher of bacon. Think food, you won't go far wrong. Thank you very much. I hope you could, you've, oh, I hope you enjoyed listening. <laughs>